televangelist Christian demagogue Pat Robertson has passed away at the age of 93. The Associated Press reporting Pat Robertson, broadcaster who helped make religion central to Republican politics, dies at 93. A man we have covered for a very, very long time, founder of the Christian Broadcasting Network, the 700 Club, for more than half a century. He was known for his 700 Club television show. Now, as I said, when Rush Limbaugh passed away, and as I said, when we've seen the deaths of many different uh, figures, uh, I don't wish death upon anyone. These individuals, to the extent that they have family and friends and loved ones, they are loved, they are missed, people are grieving, and that is their absolute right and privilege. And also, I can recognize that in their public life, they were extraordinarily damaging to the country and to the world. And Pat Robertson was one of the most damaging religious influences in America of the last 50 years. Part of the movement that stuffed and stuffed and stuffed religiosity into uh, civil government and the Republican Party wanted a Christian version of Sharia law. This is the reality. One little highlight for you here is um, uh, Pat Robertson at the uh, uh, in the earlier phases of when the country was going in the direction of saying, hey, listen, like gay marriage, not a big deal, et cetera, apocalyptically stating that it will bring the judgment of God on the nation and we will be vomited out by the land if uh, the Equality Act passes. Let them know that you are opposed to what is called the uh, religious well, what is it? The, the Equality Act. It's just, it's, of course, it's, it's got a name and all. They always give the good names to these things. This is a devastating blow to religious freedom and to the sanctity of America. If you want to bring the judgment of God on this nation, you just keep this stuff up. You know, I was reading in Leviticus where it said, because of these things, the land will vomit you out. Right. Vomit you out. I think God will say, I'm, I've had it with America. If you do this kind of stuff, I'm going to get rid of you as a nation. And, you know, there's plenty of stuff that's going on uh, when you look at the. So super scary stuff. You will get vomited out. I do want to remind everybody there is a very long list of things that Pat Robertson during his storied career said are demonic or potentially demonic. Remember that demons can attach themselves. This is from Pat Robertson. I can't play all of these clips, but you can find them in our archives. Secondhand sweaters can have demonic attachment. Ouija boards, yoga, Harry Potter, Feng Shui, karate, horoscopes, the Twilight series, paintings of Buddha, TV shows about ghosts can be demonic. Halloween, absolutely demonic. Psychics can be demonic. When young girls levitate their friends at sleepovers, that can be demonic. And sometimes adopted children from other countries can be demonic. According to Pat Robertson, we also had this absolutely classic, classic moment where Pat Robertson said even little babies just out of the womb could conceivably be demonic as well. Remember this? Amen. All right, here's the caller, Lisa from Fallen, Nevada. My question is regarding demon possession. Can babies be possessed? And if so, does the age of accountability come into play for salvation? Right. Um, I, I, you asked about the age can, of accountability. Can, can babies be possessed? And if so, does the age of accountability oh. come into play for salvation? Well, uh, the age of accountability has to do with at the point you know what, what right from wrong, and that normally doesn't take in place till you're old enough to understand something's wrong. So the age of accountability can be five, it can be six, it can be four, it can be three. But uh, can a baby be demon possessed? Uh, I, I just believe if 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 that child is born to a family of devil worshippers. There's a real possibility that the, 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 the devil will think that the, he has a, a claim over that child. I mean, yep. it, it's horrible to contemplate, but we, you uh, know, I don't think that there. He doesn't take pleasure in giving us this news. But yeah, babies can come out of the womb demon possessed. So 93 year old Pat Robertson passing away uh, an incredible legacy, which I think is a negative one. Uh, and we will leave it there. We will take a quick break and be back right after this.
I often have a much longer list of nonfiction books that I'd like to read than I actually have the time for. And that's when summaries of books can be really useful. Our sponsor short form is the platform that goes way beyond what other book summary platforms do, because short form provides a clear and concise overview of the book that you can read or listen to in one sitting. But you also get a ton of other crucial context about how the book fits into the broader topic. Like, for example, I went through the short form guide for an American sickness. It's a book by Elizabeth Rosenthal about the financial incentives that plague the US healthcare system, many of which we've talked about. Short form perfectly sums up the book's key points, but then it goes further. It looks at the background on how Rosenthal's perspective fits into the larger debate on American health care. And this just gives you a more complete and balanced understanding of the book. And that's what I love about short form. Short form has every nonfiction genre imaginable and they publish new book guides every single week. My audience can try short form totally free and get 25 percent off a subscription if you'd like at shortform.com slash Pacman. The link is down below.